number one, a par four. How many yards is this one? About uh, 360 yard par four from the white tees. Okay, this is the first hole green. Uh, originally the hole had a large tree on the right hand side on the other side of that bunker. That came down about 15 years ago. That guarded coming in from uh, a power drive off to the right. The rough was always kept very, very deep here, uh, especially in the right. And uh, the key here was flying the bunker on the left on your drive to set up an approach going in. Uh, there used to be a trap at the very back of the green. They filled that in years ago. And that's really the only change on this hole. That tree off the tee on the right hit people who sliced the ball would hit that. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. They didn't mess with this one too much. Number two, uh, par five, short par five, uh, really cool hole. That big ugly red thing in front of you didn't used to be there, and that was put up about 15 years ago. That's the Newburn train building. Okay. Uh, the deal here was, do you risk going over those bunkers on the right and try to drive the hill so you hit it in two? If you do that and you push the ball right at all, you hit the apartments. If you hit the apartments and break glass, you run like hell. Uh, those apartments have always been there since the beginning of the course. They were some of the original housing on the course. Uh, I saw Curtis Strange play this hole as an amateur and he drove the, the bunkers from the back tees. I had a wedge shot for the second shot to the green and he shanked it into the pond next to the green. Pond? Pond. There used to be a pond there. We'll get to that later. <laughs> well, the, actually, as we make a turn you'll see the green and there's a, there used to be a pond to the right of the green. Now it's just wasteland. But it was a real pond. Right? That's the green for number two. You see on the right, that swamp used to be a legitimate pond that uh, kind of came a little closer and bent. Not a whole lot's been changed about that. The very front of this the green is a dip, and over the years sometimes they keep it shaved, sometimes they keep the rough deep. Much harder when they keep the rough deep so you can't roll it up. My best memory of this hole was playing with my dad. Still good? Yeah. Playing with my dad on a Saturday foursome. We had an eagle, two birdies, and a par. Wow, my best memory in this hole is going looking for golf balls at night. <laughs> Scuba diving, snap, yeah. snapping turtles. Snapping turtles. <laughs> uh, the original tee was up there where the road is. Not the interstate, but the road, uh, back in the corner a little bit. It was pushed over here, I guess, about 10 years ago, maybe longer. We used to have a huge willow tree about where, right at the edge there, that culvert, you know, the road comes over top, that actually would take some balls. Big change on this one, on the right, uh, right side of the bunker, right side of the green, there was a large sand trap there. So if you pushed the ball right, you would get into that trap coming off the green, Willow tree blocked it there. A lot of people pushed it right to that telephone pole. And I believe there was another bunker to the left uh, of the green beyond that. So if you yanked one, you get in that one. This the, is a hard hole. The green slopes toward us dramatically, so the key to this hole has always been to be below the hole on the shots. Gotcha. You know, my favorite memory of this hole What's that? is picking fruit from that nice blossoming uh, plum oh, yeah. tree up there, man. That's delicious stuff. Looking, looking back on a number three tee from number three green down to the number two green in the distance. Okay, par four straight ahead. That creek on the right for when you slice it. Creek on the left if you yank it. Straight ahead. It used to be a bunker uh, at about 170 out on the right on that knoll that would catch a lot of shots going to the right actually probably kept people out of the creek before and uh, we all have memories of actually putting the ball on the interstate here with oh, yes. large slices and again running like hell when that happened yeah our brother Joe was especially adept at that adept, adept, uh, adept. he did double lanes I believe yeah. and up by the green you have traps and there's probably one more originally there was one on the front right and it was filled in years ago that's about it on this one pretty hole though don't you think gorgeous gorgeous, gorgeous hole Five. Uh, 
total right side here has been butchered in the last two years. It's all big beautiful trees uh, just on the other side of the white stakes all the way up to as far as you can see by that house. You never could see a house before. Originally, I think in the 60s those towers weren't there, but it's pretty much as far as my memory goes, they've always been there. If you hit them, you get to play again. Uh, no major changes besides that. There was a couple more trees in the rough on the right that kind of died out enough they didn't cut them down. And then we go over the hill and there's some changes by the green. But that's it. Nice haul. Anyway, this is number five green looking back. On the left here there was a bunker right by the edge of that golf cart path. Which would catch some balls that really never came into play. There was a tree over here above it that would catch errant shots. Those big pine trees on the right looking back uh, for the longest time, were, I remember when they were planted, so they weren't much of a factor. Uh, but it did kind of protect the, the seventh hole from errant shots. <laughs> they didn't change this one too much. It's beautiful green though, isn't it? Yeah, and they would, the most uh, treacherous pin placements were in the front of the, because if you came down, it was very difficult to uh, get it to stop. Yeah, it's just a gorgeous green, big green too, yep. for a countryside. Okay, number six has changed tremendously over the years. Uh, used to be a double pond here. Off to the left where all those scrub trees are was a pond. That never really came into play unless you spanked it off the tee on number seven. Directly in front of us though, the pond came back toward, uh, toward us about 30 yards. Where that bridge is, it goes over what's now left of the pond, the creek. It was a huge oak tree there. So if you hit the ball left to right, uh, you couldn't do it because of that tree. The pond extended all the way around down to that culvert. On the right hand side of the green there was a trap there. So if you came off the side you were in that trap. Difficult to get out of that trap. On the left hand side of the green two sand traps. You can see the remnants of them as bunkers now. This was an extraordinarily difficult hole especially from the blue tees about 225 yards. Very hard. Uh, my very first birdie in my life I got on this hole. I was playing in the winter. The pond was frozen. I rolled it across the ice onto the green about two feet from the hole and made the putt. 